But what is your message to the court and um, also to the American women and families uh, dealing with the potential you know, blocking of this FDA-approved uh, drug on abortions? It's really amazing. Now, I'm rarely surprised, mm -hmm. but that the members of the Supreme Court should think that their n knowledge and their judgment, which is not scientific, should replace or displace that of the scientists at the FDA. Mm -hmm. What gives a Supreme Court justice or a member of Congress the right to say that something was not rightly approved? Mm -hmm. it's, it would be ludicrous if it wasn't so serious. And so hopefully they will make the right decision today. We don't know what the result will be. Mm -hmm. But if the court should decide that it has superior scientific knowledge without any benefit of research or trials and the rest, we have a real problem in our country. And the answer, of course, is the Congress of the United States. We must win in the next election to lock in certain things in the law so that the Supreme Court does not think that it has scientific, religious, uh, academic, or whatever it is, superiority. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been too long on Mount Olympus, mm -hmm. and it is time for a bright light to be shown on the lack of discretion mm -hmm. that they should have. They shouldn't have this discretion. And this is, this is about a democracy. This is about governance. Mm -hmm. An independent judiciary is very important. We respect that, but we want them the members of the Supreme Court to respect the Supreme Court as well.